What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Consequences of a Closed Mind. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos as of late, and I keep seeing a, over a theme. Um, so, so I'm going to use different scenarios. Um, so us as a people, as a black people, we, we got this duality where, you know, all this marching and, and, and reliving the civil rights marching part, not the economic part, is supposed to get us somewhere. And it doesn't. And instead of creating a, building something off of economics, which capitalism beats Christianity in, in this country. This is how you get people's attention. We keep going to activism. And these are the consequences of having a, a closed mind. Everybody else is worrying about their economics, not only in the marketplace of this country, but globally. And we're, though we are dealing with racism and, and and, and the systematic oppression, the systematic racism, you call it white supremacy, all of that stuff. Um, at the same time, we're locking ourselves out of the freedom of wealth, you know, by being activists while everybody else are business, you know. So these are the, we're dealing with the consequences of a closed mind. You know, we've integrated into a burning house, and we're the ones burning up the most. Just saying. Uh, you know, on the flip side of that, consequences of a closed mind. You 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 deal with non-black people. For you know, the, for for right now it's a black and white issue. You see, um, white people suffering from white supremacy, white privilege, and they're closed mind they're closed minded about their hypocrisy. You know, the whole you're a social justice warrior thing, right? At the same time, you know, they're fighting their inevitable self self destruction because they're closed minded to the to, to the fact that they self destructing. They're closed-minded to the to the fact that they've ruined the economy. That that their kids are, you know, that that they're getting hooked on drugs at an exponential level. That, that excusing all of their criminal behavior has created an ex exponential amount of criminals that do ridiculously wild things that cost people their lives on a regular basis. Um, and all of this deflection and projection on other people does not help them in their own homes and in their own neighborhoods. Um, but because they always have a scapegoat for their own problems, you know, the consequences are that they're, they're falling at a rapid rate and you see people trying to hold on to the, to the, um, to the power structure with they, with, which they're losing, thus, you know, people backing out of the dollar globally because, unfortunately, you have, you know, you, the idea that might is right and white is right is at odds with the world's view of no, it's not. And, you know, f because of global, the global impact of white people across the globe, not everybody, most of the globe except for probably Africa, which I found out yesterday. A lot of Africa doesn't know um, the history of white people's negative behavior. So they're going to suffer for this because there are other, there are other groups in Africa who, who have dealt with white people directly and they're not, they're not, they're not feeling it. They're not gonna. They're not gonna come there and just do what they're doing over and over again. It's not happening. So it is what it is because that's the consequences of a closed mind. Uh, you see the, the the ladies in feminism. You know, 
the consequences of a closed mind is you you ask for a quality now you're getting it and now you don't want it no more and it's too late see you should have been open-minded to the fact that you, you were gonna gain some things and lose some things but you weren't you know and now there's there's all of this this scrambling to hopefully create a newer society that fits you know your newer mindset and it's not going to happen and the reason i say is the consequences of a closed mind is because they, they had the whole gender war the wall of silence mig towel all of that other stuff women hitting the wall comes from just this ideology in itself like you know you you can you can meet a woman and she can she wants to be do her thing that's fine it's no problem with that but say i want to be married by 30. but the consequences of a closed mind is you don't start looking for for somebody to marry when you're 29. you know you don't say oh i'm ready now and the world is going to just jump out oh she's ready now we're ready to go men don't care you know if, if you want marriage by 30 you need to start looking at 25 stop thinking you know stop procrastinating and putting it off you know i saw that um uh survivor series and and, and, and i want to say what it was survivor and with bear bear grills or whatever but the men was versus the women and the women kept they couldn't build and it's just a TV where to show women that, you know, you, you don't build. You, you want power, but you won't build. So your power is inevitably going to always crumble. But these are the consequences of a closed mind. You know, the guys have the same problems. Because of this new society, um, a new culture, some of you guys want to be players. You want to have multiple women and multiple uh, multiple sexual experience, not necessarily multiple women, but and not and at the same time, if you can have multiple sex partners on your on your belt, that's one thing. But the consequences of a closed mind is, you know, inevitably the majority of you are going to get somebody pregnant or multiple people pregnant. That's just what what it is. Whether that's uh, even if you practice safe sex, whether that's condoms breaking, whether that's, you know, she's on birth control and that doesn't work, whether she, you got tricked and she lied about the birth control, you know, whether y'all just had a, had a, uh, a, a, um, a passionate night and y'all didn't think about the consequences to the, into the morning and, and you know, the, the consequences of children that you weren't prepared to raise because you were just chasing sex without the possibility of children and most guys who say oh it's never going to happen to me who haven't had kids haven't had kids yet you know you've had a pregnancy scare so you just was you know you got you were fortunate that you didn't have a kid some people are like that some people have multiple kids it is what it is but the consequences of a closed mind is you know some of y'all going to realize even if y'all didn't want to have children when y'all get older you're going to wish you did because you know with all this selfishness about me 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 i i i hedonism you're going to realize when you get old your ideology died too when you died you passed on nothing in essence you wasted your life And you won't see it that way, but that's the consequence of a closed mind. Some of you will, some of you won't. Um, then you have this, 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 this capitalism, you know, this attention is this attention seeking form of capitalism where I ain't gonna say cap. Yeah, a little bit. I got to preface what I'm about to say so give me a second you have a closed-minded way of thinking as far as capitalism in the future you don't take into consideration that you've seen businesses and business models change and crumble and and and, and reshape themselves in your lifetime you know you've seen tape players go to CDs to mp3s in your lifetime 
you've seen um, Xerox become, become a great company and get rich and now you've seen a lot of paperless transactions in your lifetime you've seen um, the music industry have all these music stores and now they're pretty much online in your lifetime and you know you've seen people say this business is going to be the way you've seen taxi cabs turn into ubers in your lifetime but all of a sudden you can't your closed mind can't think that maybe you might want to try different avenues to create income because you have no idea if your particular business is going to change throughout in society in your lifetime also you just close minded to the fact that you know what feed you might not feed you in five years you know that's a, and these are the consequences of a closed mind that's why you got these guys out here who are coal farmers you know coal farmers who worked in coal mines thinking that we're gonna get their jobs back no you're not you know you, you don't think about it was it was cool when you saw the self checkout lines in Walmart now you're seeing a lot of automation everywhere and you don't realize it's gonna cost people jobs and those jobs might affect you at some point because they're gonna go higher and higher up the food chain but since you close minded to the fact oh this ain't gonna happen to me because I I know people and co-workers who feel the same way you, you really think they're gonna take your level of lackluster performance because you feel like you're getting over on the system because you're getting paid too much to do too little you think somebody's not trying to figure out a way to knock you out of that spot and put something in that spot that works that's what we used to do with, that's what businesses did with people all the time if a, a person who was un, who was overpaid and underproductive got bounced out by somebody who was younger and more productive that they paid less so you think that doesn't work with the same aspects of machines and uh, and the youth coming up also and and the advent of how to use all these technologies you're gonna be out in the cold consequences of a, a closed mind of a closed mind same thing when it goes to health just because they have all of these advances in medicine doesn't mean you get to poison your body daily and you know you can go to the doctor and fix it that's gonna cost you too much physically and financially these are consequences of a closed mind you know so that's just my thoughts on this one folks we out